Well, good afternoon. We're here in Serbohov in Russia. It's Sunday afternoon and we're beside the river Oka, which goes from Aural to my left and then follows along and joins up with the great river Volga and on to Ninji Nurograd. Now, when my friend Sergi brought me here about four or five years ago, behind me was the old bridge and that has now been replaced by a new railway bridge, which only a few minutes ago, the train went past on its way to Chula. So there we are, the great river Oka on its way to the even mightier river Volga. We continue our travels and we're now on the side of the river Nara which flows into the river Oka that we saw earlier today. Now behind me is one of the monasteries and across the river is another one which originally were both for the men but now the one on the other side is for the ladies. To the right is the Kremlin where the Duke of Serbohov used to reside in about the 14th century. But of course then we had the Mongolian invasion led by Genghis Khan and the Duke had to give undertakings to Genghis Khan as to appease him and that's before he then left Serbohov. So there originally was 40 churches here, quite a substantial number. But of course, with the Bolshevik uprising of 1917, a lot of them were demolished and fell into ruin. So that's another part of the history of Serbohov. Also, it was had a mystical story about that there was a tunnel underneath the two monasteries, linking them together in case of trying to escape the marauding Mongolian army. But that tunnel, or tunnels, has never been found to this day. Maybe sometime in the future. Hmm, interesting. with vegetables, Ivan tea, and chili club, dark bread. 320 rubles, about three pounds 40. The whole of each, fantastic, and tasty as well. Bye bye, lunchtime. Well, hello there. We're still on our travels and we're now in the older center of Serbohov. And behind us, we have a number of churches. And if you see the one, which is the third tower with the green top, it's leaning as in the equivalent to the leaning tower of Pisa. The, uh, from the, there's a six degree tilt in the tower, um, which has caused the church to close for fear of that the thing might collapse. So they're thinking about what to do with it. 
And here we are in the place called the PowerPoint. Now this is the chance to look at your dreams and see about having the way to achieve them. The PowerPoint place. So in the center of Soberhof we're here. Church is surrounding us. And this was the center from the 14th century when the Duke of Serbohov left Serbohov with the approaching Genghis Khan's Mongolian army to take the city. But they never got to the monastery which is to our left, never entered the actual monastery. Well, hello there. We're continuing our travels in Serbohov and we're on top of the mound in the city. And beside me is part of the remaining wall that surrounded the mound. It's made of sandstone. And unfortunately, due to the Bolshevik revolution in 1917, they decided to dismantle it to be transported to use on the underground at Moscow. But being standstone, it didn't sustain damage from water. It didn't work. So the damage had been done. The wall had been mostly dismantled and this is the only part that's, that's just still here. A monument to ancient Serbohov deteriorated but there we go Serbohov is a lovely place to come and visit a lot of tourist attractions churches to go and see a lot of the parks that have come up in the last few years places to sit down meditate taking the sights especially in the evening time when they're lit up quite romantic really but also a place for tourism Maybe you come along and be here as well. It's only 80 kilometers, 50 miles south of Moscow. The M2 motorway takes you here. That's it. How enchanting. See you soon. Bye-bye.